you know, there are definitely rough evenings, rough mornings. The widow of a local firefighter killed battling one of California's biggest wildfires is opening up about her loss. Ashley Iverson will celebrate her baby shower tomorrow without her beloved husband, Corey. And she sat down exclusively with 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco to share how she plans to honor her husband's legacy. The Thomas fire claiming the life of a firefighter. Corey Iverson's death made national headlines. The fire has proven deadly once again. A firefighter killed in the line of duty just yesterday. Nearly three months later, his wife Ashley is still trying to adjust to her new normal. I don't know where I am right now. I don't know what planet I'm living in, but um, Corey touched the world. And he was mine. The couple met when she was 26. Now at just 32, she's a widow and a single mom of a toddler with a baby due in May. It is the most horrible and wonderful and terrible and amazing and horrifying and incredible thing I've ever experienced and will ever experience. Corey was an engineer with Cal Fire. He was battling the monstrous Thomas Fire when he became trapped in a swarm of spot fires. She talks about the moment she learned the love of her life was gone. So I fell to the ground and my shoes fell off and I stood back up and, and Evie tells me, Mommy, get your shoes back on. What, you know, what are you doing? She didn't hesitate before telling her. And I looked her in the eye and I said, Baby, I need you to know something. Daddy went to be with God today and he's not coming home. And she started sobbing into my shoulder. How could a two year old know what that was? Ashley and Corey shared a deep faith. She says God and Corey are guiding her. There are definitely rough evenings, rough mornings, um, but I'm able to feel them say, I'm okay, you're okay, I'm right here. She hasn't always been this positive though. Through tremendous pain, she's been able to finally find purpose. Corey struggled heavily watching me struggle with anxiety and depression and, and specifically needing to help people on a bigger scale. And God and Corey has, have given me that platform to make that difference. A difference in how firefighters deal with the mental demands of the job. They go to work and literally pick up pieces of people the human brain can only compartmentalize that so much. She wants to see a change in attitude. And the mentality and culture has always been that if you're not, if you're not strong enough to handle that type of scene, what you see, then you don't belong. And that's, that's ludicrous to me, that that mentality and culture needs to shift. <laughs> right now, though, she's focused on Evie. She just turned three. She's a happy, energetic toddler who loves Beauty and the Beast. Soon she'll be a big sister to a baby girl named Taylor. He left us with so many blessings. I, I just got to keep going. I, I have to make my husband proud. In Escondido, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. An incredible woman. Ashley will start meeting with fire officials soon about what she hopes will become the Iverson Foundation for Active Awareness.